After the unexpected incident, the update on Flight 12's launch date was finally announced. Naturally, many will question whether this new schedule is realistic. If it's not, the bigger question becomes how a delay for Flight 12 will impact the following milestones and overall mission plans. After covering Starship, we will turn our attention to Boeing's Starliner, which has faced significant setbacks. Under NASA's revised contract, the chances for Starliner to launch crewed missions are now lower than ever, leaving many disappointed. Let's dive into all this in today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX is clearly facing one of its most challenging periods yet. The moon mission is still scheduled for 2027, which makes 2026 a critical year for preparation and testing. Competitors like Blue Origin have already begun accelerating their own development programs, increasing the pressure on SpaceX to stay ahead. Amid this high-stakes environment, Starship achieved a major breakthrough, yet it also suffered an unexpected setback. During a pressure test at the Massey test site, Starship B-18 exploded, a reminder of the inherent risks of pioneering rocket development. For many, the immediate consequences that comes to mind is a delay in the Flight 12 schedule. SpaceX addressed concerns on X, stating that Starship's 12th flight test remains targeted for the first quarter of 2026. The emphasis on the word remains highlights that the timeline has shifted compared to earlier comments from SpaceX's Vice President of Launch, Kiko Donchev, who had indicated a January 2026 launch date. While it seemed Flight 12 might stay on track, the recent revelations suggest a more cautious outlook. Interestingly, the FCC has provided additional hints about the launch schedule. A leaked update to Flight 12's license indicates a six-month window for launch operations, with the official start date listed as January 23rd, 2026. This suggests that Flight 12 cannot launch before that date. It's important to note that the FCC license primarily covers communications and telemetry systems meaning it's not a definitive launch authorization like those issued by the FAA. Still, historical patterns suggest it can be a useful indicator. Starship flights last year generally launched close to their FCC license start dates, barring unexpected delays. This, combined with Kiko Donchev's comments, reinforces the possibility of a January 2026 launch, though the exact date remains uncertain. In addition to the timing, the FCC license also confirms key aspects of Flight 12's plan. According to the license, both the first stage booster and the second stage will operate only in suborbital flight, following the same procedure as Flight 10 and Flight 11. This approach is consistent with the cautious testing philosophy for the first V3 flight, allowing SpaceX to validate upgrades without introducing excessive risk. The license further clarifies landing procedures. The FCC notes that the first and second stages will either return to the launch site or perform a water landing. While the wording leaves the option open for both stages to return to the launch site, it is likely that water landings will remain the preferred method for this mission. These procedures allow SpaceX to safely evaluate new V3 modifications while maintaining a high margin for recovery. Flight 12 represents the first V3 test flight, and it comes with numerous technical and operational challenges, yet each step brings SpaceX closer to its long-term goals, including the Moon mission in 2027 and the continued evolution of Starship technology. While delays and setbacks are inevitable, these early flights provide invaluable data to refine systems and improve reliability. Supporters can show their enthusiasm for Starship's progress by sharing encouragement online, for instance, by posting V3GO in the comment section down below. Flight 12 will be a critical milestone because its schedule and outcomes will have a major impact on the goals that follow. The path to this launch is expected to be challenging, and even with updates from the FCC, the exact date remains uncertain. SpaceX has set the launch window for for the first quarter of 2026, which means the flight could occur in February or March. This marks a noticeable shift from the earlier statement by Kiko Donchev, who had indicated a January launch, showing that confidence in a January schedule has decreased. The B-18 explosion has left SpaceX without spare hardware to continue operations immediately. In a recent update, the company stated that it plans to have the next Super Heavy booster stacked in December, which puts it on pace with the test schedule planned for the first Starship V-3 vehicle and associated ground systems. This means the next pro prototype B-19 is expected to be stacked in December, which is still a relatively fast recovery. However, it took nearly six months to stack B-18. Even with lessons learned and the urgency of the program, the B-19 stacking process will likely take at least a month. Assuming the stacking completes in December, B-19 could begin its test campaign in early or mid-January, starting with cryogenic testing. 
adding a week or more for inspections and installation, the earliest it could reach static fire testing is likely the end of January. This timing suggests that Flight 12 will probably need to be pushed into February, making a January launch increasingly unlikely. The months ahead will be crucial for SpaceX to maintain momentum and keep the Starship program on track. It now appears that the start of the Starship V3 program may be later than originally expected, which raises important questions about how this will affect future plans. Earlier leaks suggest that SpaceX had targeted June 2026 for the start of the refilling system, one of the most critical components for enabling long-duration missions. However, with Flight 12 now likely slipping into February, that target seems increasingly unrealistic. Flight 12 is the first V3 flight intended to demonstrate the upgrades introduced with this version of Starship. Before refilling operations can begin, SpaceX still has to accomplish several essential tasks. These include reaching orbit, deploying real payloads, and successfully landing both stages of the vehicle. If Flight 12 is delayed to February, these milestones would need to occur almost monthly in order to stay on schedule. At the current pace, achieving that sequence appears highly unlikely. Even if everything goes perfectly, SpaceX has only managed two consecutive launches so far this year, so maintaining that level of performance in March, April, and May would be extremely challenging. Any problem along the way would further extend the intervals between flights. Vehicle readiness is another significant factor. SpaceX has just just completed stacking Starship 39 and B-19 will not be ready until December. Ship components such as nose cones are present in the Star Factory, but it's unclear if all other necessary sections are available for assembly. Booster hardware remains particularly uncertain and it must be completed at least a month before launch to participate in testing. Furthermore, after recent missions, SpaceX will need to ensure that sufficient prototypes are available to support the refilling system. The readiness of the launch infrastructure also plays a critical role, and currently there is little evidence that SpaceX can sustain the pace required to begin refilling in June 2026. Delaying the refilling system has broader implications, particularly for moon missions. SpaceX is competing with Blue Origin to return humans to the lunar surface for the first time in more than 50 years. Blue Origin has shown measurable progress with New Glenn and its lunar lander, while SpaceX's timeline appears to be slipping, with recent leaks suggesting a potential 2028 target. Target. Any delays in refilling will inevitably push back subsequent mission milestones, increasing the pressure on SpaceX to accelerate production and testing. Despite these challenges, breakthroughs are still possible. SpaceX could combine multiple objectives in a single mission, such as orbital landing and payload deployment, to save time. The company also has the capacity to rapidly scale up production if needed. While the current situation is demanding, the history of SpaceX shows that innovation and flexibility can overcome even the most significant obstacles. The next few months will be critical, and the world will be watching closely to see how SpaceX navigates this complex path and works to turn delays into progress. Now, let us turn to the latest Starliner update. It's been quite some time since we last discussed Starliner. After the CFT mission, Starliner has been mired in delays, raising serious questions about the timeline for the next crewed launch. Now, NASA has provided clarity on the situation. Specifically, NASA has announced an amendment to the commercial crew transportation capability, capability contract it awarded to Boeing back in 2014. Originally planned for six crewed missions, Starliner is now assigned only four flights under the revised contract. These four missions are not all guaranteed to be crewed, as NASA emphasized that the remaining two missions are available as options, which means it is uncertain whether these will carry astronauts. Furthermore, NASA confirmed that the first flight, Starliner 1, will be a cargo-only mission. This decision is not only meant to reduce risk, but also to allow in-flight validation of the system upgrades implemented following the CFT mission last year. Regarding the schedule, NASA indicated that Starliner 1 is targeted for launch no earlier than April of 2026. Crewed flights to the ISS will only occur if Starliner receives certification and if Starliner 1 is successful. Steve Stitch, manager of NASA's Commercial Crew Program, provided further context explaining that Boeing and NASA have been rigorously testing Starliner's thrusters. Based on this testing, they are targeting two potential flights next year, which may include a crewed mission if the cargo flight 
flight goes smoothly. While this is an optimistic outlook, the reduction in the number of missions represents a clear setback for Starliner. Consider that Starliner received 4.2 billion US dollars from NASA in 2014, plus an additional 300 million later on, far exceeding the 2.6 billion dollars awarded to SpaceX for Crew Dragon. Despite the larger investment, Starliner has faced repeated technical problems during both testing and operations and has yet to complete a crewed flight. In contrast, SpaceX's Crew Dragon has successfully launched multiple crewed and cargo missions, including rescuing crew during Starliner's CFT-1 mission, and maintains a perfect success rate. Because of Starliner's delays, NASA has had to purchase additional Crew Dragon missions to ensure continuity of operations. The reduction of Starliner flights is therefore a significant embarrassment for Boeing. There is even the possibility that it may not fly any crewed missions at all. At this stage, the success of Starliner 1 is uncertain. If it fails, certification will be delayed and the spacecraft may continue flying only cargo missions. This is especially critical because the ISS has roughly five years of operational life remaining. Continued delays will further reduce the opportunity for crewed Starliner missions. Another key point not mentioned in the update is the financial aspect. Boeing received substantial funding for Starliner but has yet to deliver a reliable spacecraft, and the program has reportedly caused financial strain for the company. With the contract now revised and the number of missions reduced, the question arises, should Boeing be required to return part of the funding to NASA? If NASA does not recover any funds, it would underline the wasted investment. Do you think NASA should reclaim part of that contract money from Boeing based on these changes? Let me know with a yes or a no in the comment section down below. This update highlights the challenges and stakes of the commercial crew program, and it underscores how SpaceX has established a significant operational advantage in delivering crewed missions to the ISS. Starliner's future now hinges entirely on successful testing and its first flight, marking the next steps critical for both NASA and Boeing. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.